Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the future of widgets in iOS 5. Basically, if you've been following any technology website recently, you know that finally the hackers through Cydia have been able to develop new widgets through the notification center of iOS 5. Now, I'm going to be showing you what this actually means in a second, but essentially widgets are finally going to be coming to iOS 5 if Apple finally allows them in September. Um, basically, through Cydia, the iOS 5 has been jailbroken, as you can see, mine is jailbroken here. And I have two widgets installed right there, as you can see, UI settings and Wii Twitter. Um, basically, these are two widgets that are installed through the notification center. Um, and although this is not the way that we wanted widgets to actually be installed on iOS 5, and we wanted them similar to Android, this is actually pretty good. It reminds me of the dashboard of a Mac because if you guys know Notification Center, you can simply pull down and see all your notifications. Well, now widgets are going to be included in there. So I just showed you I have two widgets installed. I'm going to show you how this actually works. Um, this, is running, this is running on my iPod Touch 3G actually right now. And even though it's not that good compared to Android, it is pretty close and I think it will work well in the future. So basically, here we go. What you do to access the notification center is slide down. And as you can see, mine looks completely different than the stock one. Up here, even though I have stocks and weather, I have a new widget right here in the middle and another new widget down here. The widget in the middle is actually the UI settings toggle and basically it allows you to turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, change the brightness, uh, change the volume. As you can see, you can scroll through it here. You can also respring, uh, power off, go into safe mode, or reboot. Um, all from the notification center. Um, and it's completely unobtrusive. You can simply like slide it up to go away. Um, this reminds me of SB settings for the, for the previous jailbroken devices. Um, and the next widget that I have is actually a Twitter widget. As you can see, I'm not actually signed in here. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the notification center and you do sign in, you will be able to see your Twitter feed right here live in notification center. Um, these are just two examples of widgets that run inside of the notification center. Um, I know of more that are actually going to be released. One of them is going to be a music player um, where you can see your album art right here and change all of the controls over here like volume, pause, etc, skip song, um, which is pretty cool. Also, other developers have developed simple applications such as Hello World which just displays text in the notification center. but Basically, the good news is that we finally have a method of getting or developing new widgets for the iOS 5. Hopefully, Apple approves this in the fall. I don't see why they wouldn't because if they did allow developers to make widgets, they could probably just sell them through the App Store and make more money and they could also compete with Android more Pe more people would buy iOS because it knows they know it has widgets on the other hand um, this could be Apple allowing you to customize the actual operating system which they don't like doing um, I know the they when they opened up the App Store they even weren't that great like they weren't that enthused by that they liked the idea of downloading applications but they didn't like customization so I'm not sure if they actually would do this but Hopefully, there's a 50-50 chance there's reasons that they could inc like incorporate widgets and there's reasons why they couldn't. Um, but hopefully, this does come about. Um, for more updates on widgets or any other iOS 5 or Apple videos for that matter, as well as other technology videos, definitely, definitely, definitely be sure to click the subscribe button up there. It greatly helps me out. And also, be sure to check out my channel by clicking Dangle King PC over there. I have a lot of good Apple videos that I think you guys would enjoy, and I really appreciate all your support. Also, be sure to rate thumbs up on this specific video if you liked it. And for more and more up-to-date updates, definitely, definitely, definitely follow me on Twitter. I'm way more up-to-date there than I am on YouTube. And be sure to visit my website and like me on Facebook, too. Um, because it really supports me and I really like your support. It really helps me out. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, and also guys, something that I forgot to mention, sorry about that, was that if you do want to jailbreak your device, the actual annotation is over there. I'll post it at the beginning of the video in case you didn't watch the whole thing. Um, if you did, I'm sorry. And if you want to see my iOS 5 full review, it's right here. Click this annotation. And up here, I will be posting an annotation when the video is made. I will be making a video on the hidden features of iOS 5. So thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully you like this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.